Camera equipment is arguably the most expensive thing that we use here at 3411 Heaven. Now to make sure that that equipment is properly protected, we had some friends at Caddy who sent us a DSLR camera and laptop bag to review and utilize to help keep our cameras protected so that we can continue to make awesome videos for you, the viewers. With that, roll the intro. Now the Caddy DSLR laptop and camera bag is available for the low price of $76.99 on Amazon, link in the description. It features a crazy horse leather and wax canvas outside, which makes it water resistant and overall is a pretty durable construction that will actually wear and become more vintage as you use it and it becomes more weathered. The straps are a very important part of every backpack, so let's take a look at them. We can see that there is some padding here, which is good. It's a camera bag, so you don't expect it to have a lot of weight. So I think this is an ample amount, as well as adjustable straps that aren't just your normal ones that if you pull super hard, they become loose. These are, these are pretty solid. There is a small pocket, which you could use to put in a credit card, ID, anything of that nature. And then on the other side is a little loop. And these loops are great, in my opinion, for hooking carabiners on with a water bottle so you can hike around with that and not have to actually hold it. That's just my personal preference. On the top, there's a leather handle that's that's not going anywhere soon. And I'd like to say I'm pretty strong, but you'll have to try it out for yourself, which is good because it'll be holding your expensive camera and laptop. On the sides, you'll find areas to actually put a tripod and you can loosen these just like the straps on the back. So you can slide a tripod leg in and then cinch them up like so. Or whatever else you may need to carry on the side of your backpack. Under the back, there is a pocket, which has a zipper. Here is where you can put your wallet, other important things that you may not want others to have easy access to when this is on your back and you're in a unfamiliar place where people might steal stuff. Safe and sound in that pocket. I really enjoy that they have these leather tabs on each of the zippers. The zipper's just, it's a good zipper. Feels good. Getting into the actual main compartment, you'll see that there's these leather straps. And while you might think, oh nuts, I'm gonna have to undo this all the time, that's gonna be really annoying. You don't have to worry, why? Because, instead of having leather straps to undo all the time, I can get this back, it's just a magnet. There's the magnet there, and one on the other side, that allows you to have quick access to the top pocket. And up top, we'll find Three zippers, a large main zipper, and then two smaller pockets that would be good for like SD cards, pens, pencils. That's how far they go down though. Both zippered and protected by the main leather flap. In the actual large pocket, you can zip up like so. And you'll see, got quite a bit of room in there. Uh, it's kind of deceiving though because what they actually do is they give you a laptop compartment which goes all the way in and this will fit a 15 inch laptop but for the actual top part of the backpack it's a little shallow I'd guess this is about this far in where you can put other things on top of another compartment which I'll show you in a second and in addition there are two little compartments on the side I take that back two little compartments and then two spots for pens and pencils so you can stay well organized with this backpack. But now I'll show you actually where the camera goes because that's probably why you're buying this bag in the first place. Take this, you undo it, you'll see that there's zippers on the side and this opens up to a compartment which looks a little disheveled right now because we just opened it up but I'll show you what's actually in there by taking it out from the top. So pull this out you'll see that there's a organizer system that you can remove and actually make it its own little carrying case with your camera if you want to stick this in your suitcase and have your camera protect it. But what's inside of that is, if we undo this, undo 
and do it a little more, a little more. We flip it inside out. There is a series of Velcro dividers that can be moved and placed to put in your camera and your various lenses and it's padded all around. So you can make sure that your camera is well protected. There's some padding there, keeping your expensive equipment from breaking and you having to buy more of it. Why? Because you took the $76 investment, got yourself a good camera bag, and now you don't have to worry about your camera. The benefit of having this in this compartment is that you can just open it up and get right to the spot where your camera is. And then even better is that if you wanna use this as a school bag, you can take your camera out, put it in this little baggie here, put it aside, not use it, fold down the top part, and then you got yourself just a normal book bag. Once you zip this up, of course, otherwise it's not a very effective book bag. But overall, uh, this seems really well constructed. I mean, the zippers, I'm, I'm a firm believer you can tell how good a zipper is by the sound, and these definitely have a good sound to them. So you zip that up, all there, and while not only being durable, it's stylish. It's hip for you cool kids out there. But I really can't say much more about it. You're going to have to try it out for yourself. You can do so by checking out the link in the description. If you do purchase this, try it. Do comment down below about your experience. We'd love to hear it. And speaking of wanting to hear from you more, we'd love to hear from you more in future videos. How can you do that? Well, you can click that subscribe button. You can help support us by dropping us a like. And last but not least, leave a comment showing us some love because we'd love to hear from you. That's all we have for today, folks. I'll see you next time. Bird out.